Have you noticed people seem to be a lot more rude now than they used to be? Or maybe, maybe you're the rude one and you don't even know it. Right. Mm -hmm. So today, we're getting a crash course in etiquette. I went to lunch with image consultant and contributing author to the book, Mastering the Art of Success, Jenny Baldridge, to learn what not to do while dining out. Jenny, I have to admit, meeting with an etiquette expert, image consultant, makes me a little nervous, but I feel like everyone needs a refresher or maybe a first lesson in etiquette. I noticed just when we walked in today that there was a cute couple over there, and he immediately sat himself first and did not see his date. Mm -hmm. He also ordered, slammed down the menu. He was texting at the table. Now, a lot of people do that, and we seem to always have our phone handy. Maybe if there's a lull in conversation, we're going to check to see if anyone texted us. Right. Is that rude? It is very rude, because what I'm hearing and seeing is that you think whatever's going on in that phone is more important than me. So one rule we implemented years ago when the phones first came out was that no texting at the table or no paying for your meal. Wow. And that really worked. <laughs> well, I also noticed that he's wearing a hat, but this is a popular restaurant for baseball fans to go to before the game. So is that okay if he's wearing a ball cap before a game? Well, you know, really wearing a hat is really never okay. At a restaurant? At a restaurant. The rule has always been that gentlemen take off their hats when they enter a restaurant or a church. What about women? I wear ball caps all the time. I think, you know, if you're at a Ted Drew's or you're walking in saw, I think those are good places. Okay, if we got all, I can wear a hat. Yes, okay, exactly. I got it. Thank you. Here you go, sweetheart. Did you notice this guy was just hitting on the waitress? Well, he was just giving her the eye right in front of his pretty day. Are you interested in the date you're with, or you just are so animalistic we have to just look at the gawk physical and, and gawk at everything? Now, a lot of people would say these rules are old school, so if I go to a job interview and I have green hair and a tattoo, that shouldn't be a big deal. Young people who are out of work, who have the same resume as someone else, they're out of work because when they showed up for the interview, they did not have those social skills. In fact, I heard of one kid who actually pulled out the phone during the interview no way. and was texting during an interview. It was just unbelievable to me. So I shouldn't even have this on the table today. You really shouldn't. Yeah. It makes me a little nervous. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so Jenny also says you should never touch up your makeup at the table. No lipstick, no powder. And as far as who pays for the meal, Jenny says the one who asked to go out to eat should pay. And for more, you can visit Jenny's website. We have a link on our page. All right. Well,